When you're planning your Disney vacation, it may seem impossible to save a little here and there while still enjoying yourself. But with a little creative planning, you can find some wonderful meals at some of the coolest places for less than you might think. Hey, it's AJ here for Disney Food Blog, and today we're going to be taking a look at some fantastic meals you can enjoy at Disneyland for around 20 bucks or less. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive list. There are tons of other food items and menu items and things you can get at Disneyland for less than 20 bucks that are awesome. But these are our favorites. Be sure to check out the link in the description and you can see all of the ones that we are recommending. First up, let's take a look at the Plaza Inn Fried Chicken. Right now, it's 17 bucks, 49 cents. If this one sounds familiar, that's because we've covered this one before in our Disney's Best Fried Chicken video. And what we said still stands, if you visit Plaza it in for only one meal, make sure it's lunch or dinner, and have this famous fried chicken. The huge platter comes with three huge pieces of fried chicken plus green beans, mashed potatoes, gravy, and a biscuit. And so you either need to come really, really hungry or you plan to share. But don't forget, you really need to get dessert too because they have some awesome desserts at the Plaza Inn, so please save space. Now let's head over to Cafe Orleans. You guys know me and you know that I can't talk about Disneyland without talking about Cafe Orleans because it has the best food on the planet in the whole wide world, the end period. So here is where you can get some of my favorite meal items. Now you can't get my whole favorite meal for under 20 bucks, but you can get parts of it and that really is probably enough to fill you up anyway. Um, so here, try a cup of gumbo and a plate of the palm frites, which is a very filling meal and you can get both for 14 bucks. Or try the French onion soup and palm frites for 17 bucks. Don't forget to get two sides of remoulade on those palm frites, everybody. Seriously, you need them both, need them both. Or if you'd prefer to skip the starters and go straight to the main event, another amazing option of course you got to have the Monte Cristo which is a battered sandwich featuring ham and Swiss cheese and it has berry puree for dipping I know it sounds weird but it's so good so if you feel like splurging on dessert you can also order the Mickey beignets for nine bucks so you've got soups and the Monte Cristo and the Mickey beignets really I mean it's a pretty cheap meal for what you get because it's pretty awesome but you can like take parts of it and still have an awesome meal next up we're going over to Carnation Cafe yay say hi to chef Oscar hi which is a must for us when we're in Disneyland and that's especially true for breakfast however they serve a great lunch and dinner nobody can forget that baked potato soup right the recipe is on the blog if you want it here a really creative option is to go with the fried pickles and your choice of Walt's chili or their famous like I said baked potato soup soup, 14 bucks for that meal. Finally, we're heading over to Disney California Adventure to Al Fresco Tasting Terrace, which many of you may not have been to yet. Um, a lot of people don't head up there, especially if you're there with kids. So if you go on a, on a date night, head on up to Al Fresco Tasting Terrace. And something that I love there, which is so, so, so good, besides just sitting and hanging out with a glass of wine in Disney California Adventure, which is awesome, is the aged cheddar risotto bites. They're so good. They're, they tend to always be on the menu. I don't think you're gonna miss out on them. Those are fantastic. And the dipping sauces are just out of this world for those. And then I also get a trio of beef tenderloin sliders for 14 bucks. So the risotto bites come with two sauces for dipping, like I said, marinara and the roasted garlic herb aioli, which you seriously have to get the recipe for and send it to me so I can put it on the blog. And we thought the texture combination of the bites was amazing. The beef tenderloin sliders were prepared perfectly and the sauces on both of these dishes added the perfect mix of flavor. So seriously, head up to al fresco they have some they have some really seriously good stuff so that's not all that we've got for you in terms of real bargains in disneyland when it comes to food this is not a comprehensive guide so if you'd like more examples head over to check out our full blog post on disneyfoodblog.com click the annotation on the screen or check out the links in the description and if we missed any of your favorite meals um, that fit into the less than 20 dollars category please leave a comment and let us know give us a like give us a, a subscribe once again for dfb my name is aj and we will see See you in the next video.